welcome to Heidi's home. I hope y'all are staying safe and warm. It is bitter cold here today. It is Sunday. I think I woke up to seven degrees this morning. It is cold. The sun is shining. It is melting some of the snow from the roofs and some of the areas. And usually, most usually, we try to get to church service, but um, our porch and stairs are solid ice. And being that my husband is completely blind, we just thought it might be uh, wise just to stay in and not slip and fall <laughs> and break our crowns this morning. You are looking into my new pan. This is my new skillet. This one I bought from, uh, where did I get you? I got you at Home Goods. It has one of the longest handles I have ever seen on a skillet, but um, it works really good. And as long as I use plastic, it will stay nice. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in my pan. This is a nice size pan because you can get a lot in here. But for today's video, I thought I would share with you guys Sunday supper and cook along with you, or you cook along with me, one or the other. I've got a couple packages of cube steak. You can see here, I've got a couple packages. Meat is extremely expensive. I did not pay that much for that, but that's how much the original price is. I'm gonna take my cube steak out of the packages what I have here is some flour and some salt and pepper. Now, I'm going to turn my oil on. I'm going to pause the video for a minute because I'm going to let my oil get a little hot before I start putting my cube steak in here. But I'm basically going to dredge my meat into this bowl and lay it in here. Brown it a little bit on both sides and then put it in a 9 by 13 I'm going to make some gravy. I'm going to add in some onions and slip it into the oven and let it cook for about an hour on very low heat. In the meantime, while that's going, I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna peel some potatoes, cube some potatoes. We're gonna have green beans and what else? I might even make a dessert today. So come along with me today on this Sunday while I make Sunday supper. Okay, my oil is getting nice and hot. I can feel the heat from it a little bit. And I'm going to dredge my meat and lay it in here and let this fry. Let me see if you can see what I'm doing. Try not to get um, stuff everywhere. <laughs> the flour all over my camera. That would be fun. So here we go. We're just laying it in here. And then laying it in here and get it frying. These are nice pieces of cube steak. We'll be able to eat on this for a couple of days, which will be nice. I'm also sharing with my father-in-law next door. So hopefully it melts a little bit so I can actually get his dinner to him. I think we're going to have to make like a pulley between his window and my window. And then we'll just hook whatever I want to send over there to the pulley. And he can pull it over to his house. Because I don't want to go out in this cold anymore than he does. <laughs> it is cold. So it is going to take a few minutes for this to brown on both sides. And in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and find my 9 by 13 or my pan that I'm going to use to put this in. Um, so when it gets fried up, I can transfer it into a pan. Um, I've got two of these things of meat that I'm going to do today. And like I said, we'll be able to eat on this for a couple days, maybe even three days. It's a lot of meat. But note also that cube steak, it cooks down. And then you think you have a lot, and then you really don't. So I am going to get a pan. I might actually uh, layer in so you can see the heat finally coming off of this. 
Um, I might even um, layer in some tin foil in the bottom of the pan so it's less mess to clean. We'll see. I'm going to see what I can find and get this going. So I don't know if the camera's actually picking it up, but you can see how it's gotten brown. So that's what we want. You don't have to cook it all the way through because it's going to finish in the oven. And I'm just putting it in my 9 by 13, which belongs to my mom. <laughs> She's going to be like, you're using my pan again. She left it here. She should have never left it here. Um, but anyways. Thank mom. If you was here, you could be enjoying this with us. <laughs> but my parents are smart. They uh, hightailed it to Florida to stay warm. And I don't blame them after a week of this mess we've had here. So I'm going to continue frying. I'm going to fry all of this meat up and then I'm going to come back and uh, I will show you what I'm going to do to the meat next before I put it into the oven. I have to be careful how I turn this camera off because of my fingers. Last couple pieces of cube steak. Um, searing away and uh, we're going to get this cooked up and put in here and then I'm going to show you uh, what I do with the pan next. Basically going to deglaze the, the pan. I've got a shortcut for gravy. I'm going to, you know what you're, I know what you're hearing. I couldn't figure out what I was hearing but <laughs> you hear my sink drip. We leave the sinks dripping when it is, um, you know, single digits outside or our pipes will freeze in this old house. So we leave all of them on um, a drip at night and I haven't got that one turned off. And the reason why you're hearing it is because it was dripping over a bowl full of water. Anyhow, we're going to use the brown gravy mix. Usually I buy it from Aldi and it's super, super inexpensive. You all have seen my grocery hauls. I'll I'll buy like 10 of these and have them on hand. It makes a great shortcut gravy. Um, and like I said, it's so inexpensive that, you know. So when this gets done browning and I get all of that done, I'm going to add water to my pan. Actually, some onions and then some garlic, some water to my pans. Enough according to the directions of this. Um, and I'm going to have that all mixed together before I pour it in here. And then um, once that heats all the way through, I'll pour it over my cube steak. And I also think I have some mushrooms, so I'll probably get those out too. And then I will cover with foil and slip it into the oven and let it cook for about an hour. And in that time, I will go ahead and peel my potatoes and get that ready. So I'm going to get these last two pieces done get this gravy going, and get this into the oven. Last two pieces of meat out of the pan. And I'm going to get rid of this metal thing. I'm just using it to pick up my meat. I'm not using it to scrape anything because I don't want to tear up. I do not want to tear up my... <laughs> so in my pan, I'm going to add in an entire pint of mushrooms. One small onion. It'll break up. And I'm going to add in uh, probably about that much of minced garlic. I'm not going to add salt or pepper because the uh, gravy mix that I'm that I use is pretty salty on its own All I want to do is pick up all of the drippings in the bottom of this pan with my vegetables 
um, because you don't, that's great flavor. You don't want to lose that. That's what's going to make this taste good. And I'm hungry. It smells, oh my God, this smells so good. I could just eat this right now. But I'm going to show you that I mixed my gravy according to the directions. I made sure that it's nice and smooth, no chunks, because you don't want chunks. I'm going to add that to my pan, just like this. I'm going to let this come up to a boil, which won't take long. And then I'm going to dump it over my pan of meat. And then I'm going to seal my meat up and put it in the oven and let it cook for about an hour. Now, if your gravy mix is a little bit runnier than you like, do not fret because your meat is covered with flour. It is going to thicken as it bakes up in the oven as well. So I'm going to bring this up to a boil and then we're going to, we're going to get this going. Now, my mixture is cut, has started to bubble and I don't know if the video actually can portray this, but the consistency of the gravy is already starting to thicken, which is what we want. So once you see that thicken, then you can take it off the heat and then we are going to add it. And this is a heavy pan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a pot holder on and I'm gonna try to get you all over here so you can see me pour this on here. We'll get it out. There we go. Look how pretty that looks already. That is gorgeous. All right, just making sure my heat's off. I'm just gonna cover this with foil. Let me zoom in on it so you guys can see it better. There we go. I'm gonna cover this with foil. This smells heavenly, absolutely heavenly. I use a lot of foil <laughs> in, my, in my kitchen. Now be careful because the pan is gonna be hot. You don't wanna burn yourself. I'm going to slip this into a 350 degree oven for about an hour and that should be done. Okay, what is a good dinner without a exceptional dessert, right? So we're going to make a dessert using what I have on hand, not going to the grocery store, just using what I have. If you guys are familiar with a dump cake, I have butter pecan ice cream in the fridge. And I thought this would be perfect with it. So I have got sliced pineapple, not crushed. It, it is supposed to be crushed. It's okay. Um, I'm going to cut my pineapple up just a wee bit as much as I can. I'm try to get this lid off here. There we go. Using a knife. I'm going to go ahead and dump all of this in here. I'm just going to take a knife and roughly cut this into small chunks. Now with crushed pineapple, there is a lot of juice and the recipe does say to use the juice. So I poured the juice out and I'm just going to eyeball it really and just add in a little bit of the juice from this can 
because I don't want to have too much moisture in this recipe and it not turn out. So here's my juice. And I'm just going to add in just a little bit. I don't think it, we need a whole lot. I need to get a can opener. I'm going to open up my cleaned out my drawers and I can't find anything. I'm going to open up a can of cherry pie filling that I bought. I think I got this from Aldi. I haven't made one of these in a really long time. It just sounds really good. And I'm just going to put it in with the meat in the oven and then it'll be done for us when we're ready for dessert. So, no. Uh, and I'm going to add in my cherry pie filling. What I like to do is kind of put it in blobs all the way around and then that way I can kind of get it where it's pretty even, you know, all the way through. This is super easy. It is delicious. It's a crowd pleaser. It's an oldie and a goldie recipe, let me tell you. There's a half a million dump cakes you can make. I'm making this one up. Um, my father-in-law <laughs> likes to buy cake mixes on clearance. He bought me the butter pecan. So that's what I'm going to use because I don't have a yellow. The original uh, recipe calls for a yellow cake mix and I am just going to use the butter pecan and we're going to serve it with the butter pecan ice cream and I think it's going to be delicious so we're going to put this in You want to smooth this out all over the top. Okay. Then we want to cut uh, sticks of butter into pats. I've got, I use about one and a half sticks of butter. But you can use two if you want to use more than one. Um, a little bit more if you feel like it's necessary. I try to do a pat throughout the cake. I'm cutting it up. <laughs> okay. This melts and from the bottom to the top kind of floats up and they marry each other and get all nice and brown. This does not have to be perfection. This is just. My butter stuck together. All right, we're going to cut up the other stick. If I can get it open. And I'm going to use a half. And the other half I'll reserve for our mashed potatoes. When they get done. When I mash them. piece here in the corner and that should be plenty and I'm going to slip that into the oven for about an hour 45 minutes to an hour and that should be getting good and bubbly and brown and I cannot wait I know I'm going to love this
fantastic and dessert was even more exceptional and as you can see in my bowl here i hope you all enjoyed making sunday dinner with me if you are new to my channel hit that subscribe button and we will talk to you all again soon thank you so much for watching bye guys